Hey y'all, welcome to Our Gray House. My name is Lisa and I enjoy sharing DIYs and inspo for home, food, and travel all on a budget. So if you enjoyed that too, please be sure and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications and YouTube should let you know every time that I post something new. Today's video is an inspo video. It's from TikTok, H. Moravec. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Anyway, she has a channel. Episode of Is It Worth It? Let Me Work It, where I DIY things because I don't want to pay that much for it. So go. yeah, she had this DIY on her TikTok channel and it was a beaded mirror. She had seen a beaded mirror like an anthropology or something and she's like, hey, I can do it for, for less. And she did. So I took that inspo and I made this mirror. Now this mirror is a little bit different because we did put side rails on it and we do have a basket at the bottom. And I say we because Marvin helped me. You guys know he did. And so I think it turned out pretty cute. And currently it is holding my books that I'm about to read or that are on my waiting list, reading list, books to read reading list. I don't know what you call that. Anyway, I'm going to read these books soon, sometime, hopefully. And that's where I'm storing them. So let me show you guys how I did it. I'm out in the garage because this is where Marvin is getting this part of the project together. So what we're going to do is, and I say we, and you know, I mean Marvin, there's Marvin. Hey babe. So he is notching out a groove, cutting out a groove. And the idea is that the mirror will just fit right in like that. And then, that's how we're gonna put it on a stand so we can put a little basket underneath. Anyway, he's working on it. He's got stuff to do. He's gotta sand one side of it. He's gotta cut the grooves in both sides, cut it down to size, and then we'll start putting it together. So Marvin is sanding the side rails. He's cutting the side rails down like we need to. He's cutting the notch in the side rails, all to make this project happen. Today feels like a day that we've started a lot of little things cleaning up, putting away stuff, but haven't seen much like progress because it's like we've created other small piles of things to do, you know? I don't know if you've ever had days like that. But anyway, I'm about to unscrew. There's like little screws in this basket thing. This goes with the mirror project, which this clip will be a part of. <laughs> and so this goes with the mirror project. And I'm going to unscrew this so that I can paint the wood ends white to match the mirror. And then I'm gonna leave the basket, wire basket part black. Because I think that'll look cute. And I was just gonna paint it with it on there and I thought it unscrews, unscrew it and paint it. It'll make your life easier. So that's what I'm doing. The next step in the project is to sand all the way around the mirror as well as sand this um, railing, I guess you could call it. I don't really know what to call it. But this is what's going to kind of hold the mirror and we're going to attach the basket to it. So anyway, let's get sanding. Remember how the mirror was too short on its own just to lean against the wall and I didn't really want to attach it to the wall. So we made, Marvin, made these two little rails to go alongside of it. So we just put it up against the garage door and now, now it's too tall. And so we're gonna cut it down some, and I'm not even exactly sure how much to cut it down, but maybe we'll, we'll figure that out. But anyway, that's where we are in the project. Here's how the mirror is looking so far, and I think it's coming out pretty good. We did have to cut off the bottom. We still have to attach the basket and paint and add the beads, but that's coming next. Hey everybody, here is the next part of the project the mirror project. I've put it all together, but now, oh, guess what guys? Look at my new monster silicone mat. I think it's called a monster mat. It is 24 by 36. It's great silicone. I can get stuff on it, wipe it up easily, and it'll be better than my like brown paper or the, the white butcher paper, whatever it's called. Anyway, I'm very, very excited about that. A link to it will be in the description box below. But I'm working on the mirror today. I'm trying to get this done. This is turning out pretty fab so far. 
I'm gonna work on gluing these little half beads onto just all around, and then we're gonna spray paint. And these are just little, <laughs> these are just little half beads that I got off of Amazon. And I'll put a link to those in the description box below. And I'll count out how many I actually used to see how many you would have to buy. Basically, you just see me here gluing beads down onto the mirror. Pretty simple. The mirror is covered, covered in beads. Well, the, the perimeter is covered in beads. The mirror took 155 beads total to make. So the next part of the process I have... Captain. Supervisor Captain is joining us at this time. So the next part of the process is to cover the edges like right here where you see the blue. I'm trying to go all the way around the mirror with the painter's tape and then I'll put some either craft paper. I've got some scrap craft paper down there. I'll put that to cover up the rest of it, but this is going to protect the mirror from getting any paint on it when I go to paint it. Now, if you do end up getting paint on the mirror, you can scrape it off, but if you can just do a little bit of, see, I saw a little bit of mirror just then. So I need to make sure that I'm really trying to get as close as possible so that I have less cleanup scraping later. Here's what it looks like so far, and I did have Supervisor Socks join us, but I've got it covered, I think, pretty well. So the next step is to spray paint, but it's raining outside, and also it's at night. <laughs> so I'm not gonna spray paint tonight, so it's probably gonna be a day or two before the humidity level and the temperature are okay for me to spray paint, but I'm good to go, so um, yeah. I'm glad and I'm, I'm really excited about how it's turning out so far. Now it is time to spray paint this beaded mirror and I'm gonna be using the Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen White. Here's my first attempt at spray painting. I'm doing it outside and as you can see, the wind is kind of, it's just getting everywhere. So I enlisted the help of my best friend Marvin to give the beaded mirror some coats of spray paint the, the, when I was doing it, it just wasn't coating it well enough. And then when he was doing it, he's a lot more patient. He's a lot more thorough with it. And it's probably a little bit less windy. <laughs> so it was getting a lot better coating on it. Ta-da! Dowels going through there. And then you can push them out. That's what you think we should do that? Huh? That's what you think we should do? Well, instead of unscrewing it, if you want to take it off and or I if you want it to be permanent, then I can screw it to it. Screw it to it. I want it to be permanent. So at this point, I basically just attached the basket to the bottom rail, permanently attached it. I screwed it to it so it wouldn't come off. And yeah, this is how it turned out. I just, I really just love how it looks. Now I will admit that the, that the mirror is a little bit, it, it's not the best mirror, but it was only $6.44. So it's kind of hard to beat that price. But if I was redoing this project, I would probably buy a little bit more expensive mirror. There were some mirrors there that were $17, $20 range, and I think they would have made this project a little bit better. Because in some spots, the mirror just seems like a funhouse mirror. It's not, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but overall, for what I use it for, I think it looks cute. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the project and if you would make any changes or paint it a different color. I just painted it white because I like white and gray. Thanks y'all so much for joining me today. I really enjoyed sharing my DIY project 
with y'all. And I hope you enjoyed it too. And don't forget, you can leave me a thumbs up, a like, you can subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.